This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Hello, welcome back. It's your boy Grim Cookies. Welcome to my review of Dream Home Decorator. This is take two. I had to, I recorded a 21 minute long video and the video, like the, it was ruined. Like the file corrupted. Um, like the video part of it was all messed up. The audio was fine, but the video wasn't. So I was like, I'll re-record. Um, so I'm here. Hopefully I'm able to be a bit more succinct, succinct, um, a bit more less emotional, perhaps. <laughs> um, I have a lot of very passionate thoughts about this pack. Um, Dream Home Decorator, not my favourite. Let's talk about game packs for a sec, because this is how EA defines them on EA.com. Medium-sized packs that add new experiences to play in thematic ways. And the way I interpret that is when you have an expansion pack, it adds something that you can play any... Like, it adds things like weather. It adds things like pets that you can play with in any save, with any sim. You know, it's like it's a universal addition to the game. That's what an expansion pack is. But game packs add specific themes like magic, like um, jungle adventure temples, like... Um, vampires, you know, things like that. More specific that you're only going to play with every once in a while. Um, that's the difference between them. Okay, so historically, game packs have always included gameplay, something this pack has none of. That's my opinion! That's a bit of a stretch, but it's how I feel. So what do I mean when I say this game pack has no gameplay. I mean that it is 99%, in my opinion, cosmetic items, build and cast assets. Now, there are a lot of them, and they are really high quality, but it is it does, it does is not enough for me. And I am drawing a very hard line here because I don't want to... I don't want it to go down on record. I don't want it to become a thing that is acceptable and okay for packs to be released that are majorly, majorly l below the line in terms of value for money and delivering on what is meant to be in a pack. Um, so the only new gameplay in this game pack is the new career, the architecture interior design career. And the issue I have with this career is it uses the foundation of the gigs-based career system that has existed in the game since Get Famous and the gig system that was introduced with the acting career. It's used for a couple of different things at this point. You've got like the um, the pop-up gig jobs that you can go and do. I'm not sure if that was exclusive to like Island Living or something, but it, gigs have appeared in a couple of different packs now. My problem is that the only gameplay introduced in this game pack is a career. And 90% of that career already existed because the foundation for gig-based careers is already done. They've had it done since Get Famous. So my issue is that the only new gameplay essentially is like the animations that they made for like when you reveal your renovated house to the homeowners um, or like the new UI they made for the like um, animation reveals and stuff like that. Like th the gameplay is build mode. That's the gameplay. And so... This game pack really, really needed, like, 100% of my heart says it really needed something like a world. Not a massive world, not Windenburg, but, like, the, the size of world that came in Jungle Adventure, Vampires, um, Outdoor Retreat. A small, small world with, like, five lots, just a tiny little residential with some houses, maybe somewhere run down or somewhere in really bad condition, and... You go and make them over as part of the gameplay for this game pack. That's what this game pack needed. And it doesn't have that. It doesn't have anything close to that. All it is, is build assets, cast assets, which are like 95% of this game pack is cosmetic assets. And then it's this new career. And my issue with the new career is the new career is essentially just build mode, right? And then the, the parts that are outside of build mode, are this is the gig system that is already done. So my question is, what is new for this game pack? What gameplay did they create for this game pack? And the answer is none. There is no new gameplay systems or features. Um, it's There's nothing. And 
I, like, I have a big issue with it. Like, I'm not saying that what we got isn't fun. I had a lot of fun with it. I've been playing with it for about three, four days now. Um, I did about a week and a half worth of gigs. So that's like, what, five, six, seven, eight, eight days worth of, like, working. So that's eight gigs because you can do one a day. Um, I probably did one of each of the different types of gigs. I had fun with it. I did. Um, a couple of the other game changers were saying that they got really bad bugs and glitches. I didn't personally experience that, but apparently they're really bad in this game pack, so that's a whole other conversation, but I'm not going to speak on that because I didn't encounter any in my own gameplay. I've got issue enough with the rest of it, um, so... I have never in my life yelled at a girl like this! As I said, I'm very emotional about this because I love The Sims, I love the team that make The Sims. Usually I love game packs. Strangerville and Jungle Adventure are both my favourite packs that we've gotten in The Sims 4 to date. I loved them both so ridiculously much. And this game pack isn't a tenth of what those were. It's not a, it's not a tenth. Like, it does not hold up. Like, the only difference between this and the Moschino stuff pack is that we got more build and cast assets. And I don't... That's not okay to me. That's not enough. Um, like, I'm really sorry to be so negative, and I hate to do it. I'm not a negative person. I err way more on the positive, forgiving side of things, and I get criticised a lot for it. Like, people drag me through the mud as an EA bootlicker because I tend to be more positive in my reviews of packs, but, um, I just, I just can't this time around. I just can't find a way to justify this in my head as a game pack that doesn't have any gameplay. It's just cosmetic assets. I would have rather them release this as like a kit, but like a really large kit that costs like more. What we got is definitely worth something because we got a lot of build assets and they're really fun and the cast assets are, you know, I talk about that in my cast review. I wasn't happy there either, but for a different reason. Go watch that video if you're interested. Um, I'm not saying that what we got isn't worth, is worth nothing. I'm just saying that this is a game pack. Game packs historically add gameplay. There hasn't been a single game pack that hasn't add, added gameplay. Um, and I don't consider the new career gameplay because it essentially it's just build mode. Like, it's you're, you're using build mode to make over houses. That's not gameplay. That's not new. Gigs aren't new. That's something that's already been in the game since Get Famous. So what is new? Just a couple of little UI windows and boxes. Like, they made likes and dislikes, but that's a base game update. That's not part of this game pack. They made modular furniture. That's not gameplay. That's a build feature. There is no gameplay here. And I just have a huge issue with it. If you're going to give us a game pack that has no gameplay, then at least, at least balance it out with, like, amazing build cast assets and, like, a world or something. And to be fair, they did give us some amazing build assets. The cast assets are all really high quality too, but I have issue there, as I just said before. I don't like them setting the precedent that they can release something like this. It sells well, they get away with it, and then they do it again in the future. We get game packs that contain less and less gameplay until basically, you know, they're stuff packs, but we're getting charged game pack price for them. Um, it just, like, I don't know what it is about The Sims 4, whether it's a, an extremely low budget, whether a bunch of the producers have moved on to The Sims 5 or, you know, I don't know what is happening that has meant that the game is like, you know, the lifespan of it has been stretched out way longer than The Sims games have historically been. Sims 1, 2 and 3 all lasted around five years or so. I can't remember exactly before the next iteration. The Sims 4 is going to last, what, like 10 years at this point? Like... We don't have things like burglars, we're still waiting on generations, like why is everything so slow and why is the stuff that we are getting like so hit or miss in terms of quality? Like I'm not saying that everything they give us isn't good quality, but like I just feel like they're adding, they're just doing less and less and less and I don't know why and my my brain tells me it's because EA knows that they can get away with it and so they're forcing them to do less and less because they're still making money, these game packs are still selling, so EA knows that they can say, hey, let's 
make this tiny, let's not spend any budget here, let's add one career that uses a system that we already made ages ago. Like, somebody upstairs is making those decisions and, and I don't agree with it. I am vehemently against it. And I feel like I have to be honest about that. Um, you know, I don't know the inner workings of EA and The Sims. I could be way off. I could be way off. But that's what my brain kind of tells me, and that's what my guessing leads me to believe is the reasoning behind this. It's because the suits upstairs know they can get away with it, they know they can still make a profit, so they're going to give us less and less because we still buy it. Um, and that's a conversation that's been happening for years at this point, and, you know, I've never had reason to, like, really dig into this conversation before, even though people have had the conversation before, because this is the first pack that I've ever really felt outraged by in terms of, like, the lack of content in it. You know, I'm pretty forgiving, as we've talked about, and I'm pretty, like, I, I will give them the benefit of the doubt, but this time around, I'm like, a bunch of build assets, some cast assets, does not make a game pack. That's not a game pack. This needed a world as well, and then, just barely, would I have been okay with this. Like, it still has no gameplay, but at least we would have gotten a world to kind of, like, balance that price tag out and make it a little bit more forgivable. But there's no new world here. There is just what we got. <laughs> and I'm just really disappointed with it. I'm sorry to say, I am. Um, it really worries me about the future of game packs if this is what is put out in, in 2021. Um, worries me for The Sims 5. I'm worried about you know, DLC getting broken down into smaller and smaller chunks and then making more money off it that way. Like, when My First Pet stuff happened and the outrage to that, we all thought and we all swore that they would never again would they go down to the territory of splitting up DLC content in order to make more money. But, like, I don't know, man. I don't know. This game pack really has me thinking that, like, somebody that is making decisions over there really just cares about money and that's it. They are like, let's give them the bare minimum. Let's take this, you know, one-of-a-kind game and absolutely destroy all of its goodwill in the community. Let's not test our content. Let's put out broken, buggy game packs. Let's patch in hair colors that don't match and that are low quality, that have issues. Let's not test, let's have no quality assurance. That's what my mind is telling me. And I hate saying that because, you know, those are real people that work there and, you know, Nobody's exempt from criticism. I'm not. They shouldn't be either. And it, I hate to say it, but, like, my issue is not with the producers. It's not with the sim gurus. I know that they work hard. They love the game, and they're incredible at their jobs. My issue is with so somebody higher up, some someone's boss's boss that is, like, pushing this mindset that less equals more profit because it's true. They give us crumbs, and we still buy it. And that's what I call this game pack. I call it crumbs. Um, it's 2021 we still don't have generations we still don't have the baby update is that ever coming um, we just got skin tone the skin tone overhaul which was amazing but it took way too long um, I just like I'm at this game pack has sent me from like here to the end of my rope in terms of frustration like Seeing this, opening it up, realizing that it actually contains no gameplay, nothing new. It's just cosmetic build assets. I'm like, it's not, it's not good. It's not good. This should have been part of a larger expansion pack, or they should have expanded this game pack and added more gameplay in it. They just needed one good, solid gameplay system, and if they couldn't add that, then they needed a world. Um, but nobody, did, nobody, that wasn't the call they made. They decided to put out this game pack as it was, as it is, severely lacking in the gameplay department. Like, if there ever was a case for them to do a Sims 4 store like they did with The Sims 3, to just post cosmetic content and not have to do gameplay, this is the, this is it. Because this, you could have sold this as a cosmetic kit, you know, like the kits are. And people still would have brought it because the cosmetic items like the build and buy and the cast assets are really, they're solid. They are. There's nothing wrong with them. But like, 
they've put themselves into this box where it's like they either make a tiny kit for five dollars, they make a stuff pack for ten dollars, or they make a game pack for like thirty-five or whatever it is. Um, and it's like this, what they've made, it doesn't fit into any of those categories. So where do they put it? They put it in the game pack category because that's what makes the most money. Like it's too large to be a stuff pack, but it's way too lacking in gameplay to be a game pack. And I'm just, yeah, I'm not happy with it. Anyway, um, this hasn't really been a review, has it? It's just been me ranting. The actual gameplay, let's talk about that. Um, basically you get gigs, you go, you make over the room or the level or whatever they ask you to do and that's it. Um, there is no other gameplay. Essentially, it's just build mode, the game pack. <laughs> um, you know, you get a you get a gig, you go to the house, for example, the pancakes, they might ask you to renovate their kitchen. And then you go into build mode, you renovate the kitchen, you reveal it to them, they play a new little animation that's cute, there's nothing wrong with it. And then you get paid and you go home and you do it again the next day. Um, I don't think it's going to get repetitive because you've got a million and one lots to make over in the game and you can still make them over again afterwards because, you know, you made over the kitchen this time, but then next time you get around to it, they might want you to do the lounge room or they might want you to expand the house altogether or they might want you to redo the kitchen because they decided they don't like it. I don't think the gameplay is going to get competitive, repetitive, sorry. I don't think it's going to get repetitive. It is good gameplay. My issue is just that it's not a game pack. It doesn't have enough in it to be a game pack should have this content should have come somewhere else like it should have come as part of an expansion pack or the career could have been added to a stuff pack just with less less build assets um because it's you know it's like that's the difference between this game pack and moschino they both had careers in them but the difference is that this one is a game pack for some reason just because it has more build assets and you know no gameplay yeah, um, I do apologize that I didn't really go in depth to the whole um, career part of this in this review, but you'll have a million and one videos from all the other game changers and all the other people streaming. I'll be streaming, so if you do want to check out the career, come watch me play it because I do enjoy the career, it's fun. But I wanted to make this review video so that I could make it really clear to all of you guys who watch me and trust my opinion and are wanting to know about this game pack that I do not recommend you buy it. I do not think it's worth the price. I don't like the precedent that it sets. I don't like, I don't like it. Um, yeah. Um, thank you for watching. I'm Grim Cookies. Go check out my cast video if you want to hear me rant some more. I've already had conversations with some of the actual Sims people about my opinion on masculine assets. Um, I'm hoping that stuff changes there. I'm hoping that the response to this game pack is universal and that it is something they don't do again in the future, like my first pet stuff, but who knows? Who knows what'll happen? Because the people that talk to us game changers, like the gurus and stuff that we can like private message or talk to, they aren't the ones that get to make these calls, I don't think. So it's like, whatever. Anyway, anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Grim Cookies. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments if you've got any questions. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Or please come over and join me on a live stream while I'm playing through the pack. Ask me questions there and I'll show you the stuff live. Um, yeah. All right. Goodbye. Catch you later.